This is our booster pump in this treatment trailer. Uh, what it does, it is connected to those, uh, the flow switch in our reservoir tank, and it'll turn on and off as our system calls and demands for water. There's three settings on this, on the HMI, the auto, off, and on our hand. In the hand mode, this pump will turn on as because you tell it to turn on. In auto, it'll run off the controls for the rest of the system to keep our water reservoir supply full of water. Um, for maintenance on this, what you have to do is pull this cap off once in a while and clean the fins in here. Make sure there's no dust on the fins. Yeah, make sure it's clean. There is bearings in this unit that are sealed and do not need grease. This pump is a run to fail. You might be able to replace the electrical motor on it, but most times you would like want a spare sitting at your reservoir system. Okay, so we cracked this. And we want to see water coming out the, the hole on the side here, not air. We got to run this until water comes out here. Right now our pump's not running, so we can tell that there's water in this pump by the water coming out of there. Once you turn the pump on, it will squirt out of there and it'll stream. You just close this and give it a little tighten. Not over tighten though. And then the next thing we'd purge would be our sandbag. Purge all the air out of here, following the system in direction of flow. Crack this. Once we got water coming out the top, there's no air left. Like so. Once the water is all purged out of there, you move downstream, following the system. We just change these. So you hit the red buttons on top to purge any water out of the canister out through the tops here. And yes, it is normal to leak water out of these buttons. And then on these harm school filters, to purge it out of here, we just crack the valves on top and you can see the water flowing through. And if you look really closely, we'll open this right up and we close it, see a jump, that's water hammer. That's why we close our valves and slowly. And then we come out of here and just check all our pressures. If you ever just did a bunch of maintenance on your plant, if you are getting no pressure on any of your gauges, that would indicate a shut valve and you're not getting any water in here, there's still air in the system. Then we come through, we bleed all the air out of our analyzers, open the valves, and then once the water's flowing, we gotta set the balls to the right flow rate for each unit. And another thing we'd check, our, th our throttling valve here. We wanna make sure that we have enough back pressure on our UV system so that the water is not going through the UV too fast. And we usually keep it on this system about 20 PSI. And that's pretty much we're all purged out, ready to run the system. Now, in the normal conditions, you'd want to soft start your water system when you're purging out the air, which having a VFD pump or variable frequency drive pump, so you can actually tell the pump to only start at 25%. Whereas this pump, is not meant to be throttled, so it is turned on or off. There's no speed control on this pump. Um, if we had a throttling valve before or after, we could do that to 25%, but then you're causing a bunch of back pressure on your pump seals and whatnot that don't need to be there.